Denver has Penn State on the road three times against ranked teams. Having already knocked off Wisconsin, the Nittany Lions visited 13th-ranked Michigan, looking for their second straight road win. Joe Paterno would lead his 15th-ranked Lions into an all-time classic between two of the top five winningest schools in college football history. Quarterback Zach Mills had a banged-up throwing shoulder, but he was up for a gutsy effort against the Wolverines. Pitch to Robinson. Turns it upfield to the 20, spun around and dropped there. And now Mills up under center. The blitz. Sets up. He throws, overshoots Tony Johnson incomplete. Both of these teams had put up impressive offensive numbers, but the first half was all about defense. And tackle Anthony Adams, a Detroit native, put on a show for his family and friends back in his home state. Back goes the bar. Stumbles. He takes him and throws him down for a loss. With tailback Larry Johnson nursing a bad hamstring, the Nittany Lions used some other weapons early on. Michael Robinson started at tailback and played some quarterback, too, as Penn State started to win the battle of field position. Robinson hit Paul Jefferson with a pass for another first down, and although the Lions would have to punt, the offense set up things for a big special teams play and ultimately the game's first score. Takes it out of there, a tumbling punt. Corey runs away from it at the 10, hits at the 5, to the 1. Tony Johnson dives to the goal line. Does he have it? It's going to be down at the 1-yard line. A fabulous job by Tony Johnson. Hustle and heart were what the Nittany Lions were all about in this visit to Ann Arbor. Tony Johnson put the Wolverines in a hole, and the Penn State defense kept them there. On third and three, it was John Bronson who made the big stop on Chris Perry. Good snap to Finley. He kicks it out of there very nicely. Brian Johnson runs up to the 42, 40, 35. Brian Johnson, 30, cuts back inside, 25, 20. Brian Johnson to the 18-yard line. Much better field position than the Lions' first two drives, and it was set up by two straight great special teams plays. First by Tony Johnson and here by Brian Johnson. Now it was time for Larry Johnson to get in the mix as well. Back goes Mills, draw play LJ Sears. 15 to the 10 to the 5, LJ, touchdown, Penn State! The first time Larry Johnson touches the ball, he shoots through for 17 yards and a score. Right up the middle, Larry Johnson gives that burst. He is physical, broke a tackle inside the five yard line, and went all the way. LJ didn't look like a guy with a hamstring injury, but he had plenty of help from his friends. Tremendous blocking by E.Z. Smith, Gus Felder, Joe Iorio, and fullback Sean McHugh. Everybody, really. And Penn State had quieted things at the big house, except for the 5,000 or so Nittany Lion faithful who made the trip. Back to pass. Blitz throws far side. Incomplete for Calvin Belt. Back goes the bar. Four-man rush. Pressure by Bronson. Throws complete at the 40 and knocked back right away on a fabulous defensive play by Amar Phillips. They went to a fullback Askew and Phillips read it perfectly. Penn State was hitting and the Wolverines started to hear some footsteps. Michigan had been averaging 156 yards per game on the ground, but the Nittany Lions were giving them little room to roam in their own backyard. And that wouldn't change in the second quarter. Penn State's defense had been well-schooled in Michigan's tendencies, and they gave every inch grudgingly. Perry up the middle, cut down by Capone, Kennedy, and Adams. Navar play action fake. Sets over the middle, Bellamy and completed the goal line. Even if Bellamy had been able to hold on, Chris Harrell's hit would probably have separated him from the ball as the Lions continued to fly around on defense. They fake it with Navarre. Navarre rolls near side. He throws complete the grab at the 10 and down at the 10 in the arms of Sean Mayer. And Penn State stops Michigan on down. And Michigan again unable to convert in a special team situation. Michigan's kicking game had struggled all year and the fake didn't fool Sean Mayer or the Lions but it was apparent that points would be tough to get in the first half for either team. Although it was great to see Penn State's banged up backfield duo of Zach Mills and Larry Johnson playing despite injuries. Far long count, gives it to Perry. Jimmy Kennedy rips him down for a loss back at the 48-yard line. Jimmy Kennedy was right back at it, doing the things that earned him Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week honors. But late in the half, Michigan quarterback John Navarre started to make some plays. It took 10 of them to go 58 yards, and even then, Penn State barely allowed Michigan into their end zone. Second and goal at the one. Broken eye, quarterback sneak John Navarre. He throws his shoulder in there. Now they'll have to unplow. Navarre, touchdown, Michigan. 
Little had been decided in a first half dominated by defense. As with most Penn State-Michigan wars, this one wouldn't be decided until late. Very late. Used to playing in front of huge crowds, but the 111,502 jammed into Michigan Stadium was the largest crowd ever to see Penn State play. And the Nittany Lion defense was keeping most of them quiet. Far straight back to pass. Dumps it off on the screen to ask you. 35, 40, and gets to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. Third and six, Michigan at its own 47. Back goes the bar with time. Throws. It's incomplete. That ball is deflected at the line of scrimmage. Mills, short drop. He looks, he goes to Brian Johnson, complete. Turns up field, breaks the tackle of Jackson. He gets to the 38. Second down, about a yard and a half. Short side pitch, LJ. Right side, first down, 40. 45, and Charles Drake takes him down at the 48-yard line. Tony Johnson in motion toward us. They'll give it to LJ on the counter tray. 40, 45, midfield, Michigan 45 to the Michigan 44. Larry Johnson leads the Big Ten and is second in the country in all-purpose yards. And even when not 100% healthy, he was a force against the Wolverines. But Penn State's first drive of the second half would stall. And that would bring on the Big Ten Special Teams Player of the Week, Robbie Gold, for a 47-yarder. Put down by Chris Ganner. The kick is on its way for the lead, and that kick is... That shifted the burden back to the defense, and they were happy to do their part. As they continued to shut down both Michigan's ground and air attacks. The Wolverines had been averaging 29 points a game, but the well-prepared Lions kept them at bay until the offense got the lead back. Showing blitz. Here he comes. Back goes Mills with time. Over the middle for Gerald Smith. Makes the catch for first down. Over the 35 to the 36-yard line. Mills delivers that one on a string. Mills' calm leadership may be most evident in pressure third and long situations. His third and ten connection with Gerald Smith shows why Penn State is second in the Big Ten in third down conversions. After gaining nothing on two plays from their own 16, Mills moved the Lions 76 yards in three plays. Long and deep near side for Bryant. Johnson makes the catch at the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10. Inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. A fabulous fingertip catch by Bryant Johnson. And Zach Mills laid it right out there. An outstanding throw. Great adjustment by Bryant Johnson. And he made the catch at the 8-yard line. Mr. Clutch, Bryant Johnson always seems to come up with the big plays when they're needed most. And Zach Mills was showing veteran leadership at only his 10th collegiate start. Mills on Second and goal, goes back to pass. He has time over the middle. Mike Lukak, touchdown Penn State! Mike Lukak's first career touchdown reception, and the Nittany Lions take the lead! This is what Penn State football is all about. With starting tight end Casey Williams knocked out of the game with an injury, Mike Lukak comes in and promptly gets Penn State the lead. But Robbie Gold's struggles on the loose turf at Michigan Stadium continued. And the missed extra point kept the Lions' lead at six. They rush four. Back goes the bar. Over the middle. Knocked away by the left hand of Anthony Adams and incomplete. It is third down and ten. Again, Penn State's defense rose up. Three plays and out meant Michigan had to punt on what turned out to be one of the most critical plays of the game. Good snap by Finley. Here they come. He gets it away. And a flag goes down as he was hit by James Milan. Well-disciplined Penn State is the least penalized team in the conference. But this personal foul was costly. It gave Michigan new life, and the Wolverines took advantage. They started the move late in the third quarter and would take their first lead of the game early in the fourth. Navarre, short drop, goes for Edwards near corner. They lead, and touchdown! But Zach Mills wouldn't let Penn State feel sorry for themselves for one second and immediately seize back the momentum. Mills, play action fake, set, throws near side for Brian Johnson, first down at the 34-yard line. Mills would complete all six passes he threw on this drive as the slugfest between two of college football's elite programs grew more dramatic by each play. Good snap, back to pass, looks far side for Tony Johnson, first down at the Michigan 34-yard line. Mills, play action thick. Mills steps up in the pocket, shuffles it ahead to LJ, 30 to the 25. Wide receiver each way out of the gun. Good snap to Mills, play action fake, throws down the middle for Brian Johnson, touchdown, Penn State, the Nittany Lions, retakes the lead. A marvelous 80-yard drive in the clutch. 
and they weren't done. Ahead by five, they went for two. Shotgun Mills, now goes under center. Tony Johnson to the far side. McHugh's the lone setback. Back goes Mills, throws for Brian Johnson. He's got it for two points. Brian Johnson's back-to-back -back catches were good for eight points. Sports Illustrated ranks Penn State's schedule as the 11th toughest in the country. And one thing playing big-time opponents will do is prepare you to perform in the clutch. But the Wolverines had some clutch plays left themselves. Five receiver each way. Back goes Navar. Navar with time. Navar steps up. He looks downfield. He's got Edwards at the 22. He tippy toes out of bounds on the near sideline. Navar, play action. Looks in the end zone. Pops. He waits. He throws. And traffic. Touchdown. Traylon Edwards. 21-20, Nittany Lions. The bar will hold. Put down. The kick by Nienberg is up. The kick is good. The game is tied at 21. This one was looking like one of those games that would be won by the team that had the ball last. And with two and a half minutes to play and the Lions on the move, that bode well for Penn State. Here they come. Back goes Mills. Mills steps up, delivers near side for Bryant Johnson. He makes the catch at the four. No, he dropped it. He yes. did catch it. He caught the ball at the 44-yard line. And when he hit the ball ground, the ball pops out. A what? critical catch. Good snap. Here they come. Mills steps up. He'll keep it and go. 45-50. Hook slide to the Michigan 49. With under a minute to go, it appeared Penn State was about to get into field goal range. But an incompletion on second down brought up the key play of the game. Everyone was on the same page, and Penn State thought they made the play to keep the drive alive. They need six. Third down and six. Mills rolls left. Steps up far side, looking for Tony Johnson. He makes the catch. No, oh, he's out of bounds. They say he's out of bounds at the 24. Oh, my goodness. He made a fabulous catch on that far side. Tony Johnson got his right foot down in bounds, even though it wasn't called that way. And instead of a first down at the 24-yard line, the Nittany Lions would have to punt. That's a catch. That was a catch. His foot was in bounds. This game was headed to overtime. In fact, it was the first overtime game ever at 75-year-old Michigan Stadium. And Penn State got the ball first. Good snap. Mills takes a shovel pass to LJ. LJ, 25-20, first down 15 to the 10 inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. First and goal at the 9, a tough position because it's impossible to get another first down. Back goes Mills. Waits, looks for Brian Johnson, juggles, incomplete. That left the Nittany Lions with little choice other than to kick a field goal and force Michigan to have to score a touchdown to win. Robbie Gold would get the Lions their fourth lead of the day. Good snap, put down, the kick by Gold is up, and that kick is good! But that left little room for error for the defense. At most, they could allow a field goal to tie. They dug in and forced Michigan to run six plays. The game coming down to a third and one at the three-yard line. Chris Perry not only got the first down, he got the touchdown. The Lions left it all on the field. They've now lost twice, both times to ranked teams, both times in overtime.